I have been trying to teach myself how to drape. I have so many books and videos that I've been watching and learning from. So I wanna share with you a garment that I draped recently. So I picked up this African print fabric actually earlier this year because I made a garment for one of my aunts and I had some scrap fabric left over so I thought that you know I would play around on my dress form to see what I could come up with and I ended up coming out with a peplum top and this is it and I thought it came out okay you know for me being a beginner trying to learn how to drape I am just really really proud of this little garment I did end up putting a centered zipper in the back I gathered on this ruffle here at the bottom. I didn't even finish it. It's kind of left raw, so I do need to go back and finish that. And I did put some bias tape around the neckline. I usually put the bias tape to the right side of the fabric, but this time I decided to put it to the wrong side of the fabric so that I can flip it over and then the green portion of the bias tape would show on the outside just to create some kind of color at the top you know a little decor I guess you could say and I did find some patterns I wrote them down that you could use if you're interested in making a peplum top you can use Vogue 8815 view A McCall's 7052 also in view A or 6896 there are also a ton of other patterns out there where you can make a peplum top but these are just a few that I found you know kind of quickly just doing a google search so now I want to move on to my next sewing make I've just finished cutting out the pattern pieces for Simplicity 9102 and I want to make view A which is the view here that the model is wearing. I noticed that the back length of the dress was going to be 55 and a half inches long. So I did end up cutting off an inch and a half from the bottom of the actual pattern piece before I cut the fabric out. For the fabric I am using this 100% cotton and it's like a denim and for the sleeves I wanted to play with the fabric a little bit there is a sleeve back and also a sleeve front my plan is to use this side of the fabric for the sleeve front and to use the darker denim side for the sleeve back so we'll see how that looks as far as the details in the pattern, there are side pockets, which I cut out right here. Then there are some gathers in the front. There's a neck band. There are two buttons. There is a cuff on the sleeve, but I don't think I'm going to put the cuff on mine. So there are actually also gathers in the back too. I did the stay stitching around the neck edges, and this is per step number one and you are supposed to do it in a quarter inch so I did that and then next you are to take the front bands and to place them on the front of the garment and I was a little perplexed because I was like this does not fit I have the notches marked so this notch is supposed to match up with this notch but when you match them up they don't really line up in the middle so I thought, you know, maybe I had cut the pieces out wrong. But when I flipped them over just to kind of look at them, they do fit together nicely like this. So I think looking at this, you know, kind of helped me realize that maybe I was still okay and that I hadn't messed up anything. So I guess with the notches lining up there, the notches lining up there, everything is gonna turn out okay. And I just think that when I get ready to sew them together, that I will just have to kinda maybe ease this in or just curve it in, and then I guess it'll come out okay. Gonna just go ahead and pin this all together. And Hopefully everything will pin together fine and sew up well and everything will be okay. I'm just going to follow the curve. Here are the notches. Okay, looks like everything is going to be just fine. Just go around here. Okay, 
everything seems like it's going to match up okay. So I'm happy about that. I love using pens, so I always add extra. I'm just going to make sure these are lined up. I'm going to move this in just a little bit. Just going to go slow. Go around. Okay. I think I'm home free now. Okay, so the band is on, but I have good news and bad news. The good news is that the band sewed on just fine. So it fits, fits around the curve, and it looks okay. The bad news is, per the directions, I was supposed to sew the band on at 3 eighths of an inch, and I sewed it on at five eighths of an inch even though this looks a little wider than five eighths of an inch so I need to go and check that but I have to take this out and do it all over again I have the band sewn on here properly and then the other front band pieces are going to be used as facings and then you are going to take the facing and match it up to the right side of the band and then sew it down and also sew it down in another 3 eighths of an inch instead of a 5 eighths of an inch. All right, so the front band is on and I put in the buttonholes and now I will go ahead and put fray check on it or actually I might just put this on at the end. I didn't buy any buttons so I looked through my stash of buttons and I did find these two brown ones that I thought were cute and they're actually shank buttons. So I will go ahead and put these on when I get to that point. The next step is to sew the front pieces to the back pieces along the shoulder area and also down here. 